Hey guys, it's me, Shane Fantastic, back here again, and today I'm going to show you a few of the things I use with my PC. First of all, we've got the Logitech K520 keyboard. This keyboard is absolutely fantastic. It only takes two double eight batteries, that's if I hit the cover open, and yep, it seems to be working just fine, in there there's like a little space where you can store the USB, which I think is pretty unique in itself, here is the cover, it's got like those little marks on it, It's a very good quality keyboard, if you ask me. And, yes, yeah, it's, it's just the quality. So, yeah. I just love it. The only problem is, though, do you speak? Do you, do you tend to collapse a little bit? So, yeah, I wonder whether the feet is missing. But it still works very well. One thing I do like is the keys. They're very quiet when you press them. Half on the, um, this key and this key. The um, space and the enter. This one's a bit noisier. Yeah, it's a very nice little keyboard. And yeah, it's, um, and it has a little on and off switch. Green LED means it's means it's fully charged. It's got a lot of charge left in it. And it's just a very good keyboard all round. And you know, this is an old model because it's got the Windows 7 logo. Like the old Windows logo. Anyway, this is the mouse I use. This is a HP Z or Z7300 wireless mouse the only thing it's missing is it's pair button but it's still a fantastic little mouse it's comfortable to hold sensor on the thing is surprisingly quite good it's a very good all-round device and to get the cover off you have to take this off, and it's still coming with the battery it came with, really, an energizer. So yeah, you really are paying for the quality of this. I can't remember the exact price now. I think it was around thirteen or fourteen pounds. It's got magnets there. See where my little fingers point there. There's like two little. See where these um, little plastic tags are pointing? You can see them. There's, there's like two little magnets. So, yeah. It's fantastic, really. It's comfortable whenever you wherever you hold it really.
So now we'll bring in the laptop. There we are. The little blue tab is for the Logitech. No, the um, black tab is for the um, Logitech. The blue tab is for the HP mouse. So yeah. We're gonna turn them both on. We turn on them on both the same way. Little blue sensor. Work straight away, really. Hang on, let's see if I can get set up properly. There we are. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. Actually, no, that wouldn't work. This one works very well on carpet. It works. Well, on all surfaces. I'm going to test it out now. So there we are, just coming on. Still takes a while to load. Oh, I forgot to turn the keyboard on. Let's choose a bus. This, the game I'm playing at the moment is Buses of the UK. Yeah, yeah, you have to wait a little bit to for the game to load. That should load. There we are. Yeah, we can see how responsive it is. We're playing games on Roblox. So technically you could use this as a gaming keyboard. Just love it to you. I think we just went past with the knockdown traffic lights. It is just for decoration, really. See what I mean about the feet collapsing? That's the only con I have about this keyboard. Apart from that, though, it's a fantastic keyboard. It's very responsive. And you can barely hear the keyboard as well. That's what I like. It's quiet. Still works nicely. Excuse my terrible driving, by the way. But as you can see, from this little demonstration here, the keyboard is easy to use. Works extremely well. I just love it. Look at that. Look how smooth it is. And it's much more comfortable than the laptop as well. Even though the laptop is a nice, is nice. It does have a nice keyboard. That's why I use a, K a K520 keyboard. Anyway, I'm losing control of the vehicle now. And that will be it, guys. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.